Hi everyone, it's Yuwa here and today I wanted to show you guys my February and March's BoxyCharm because I didn't film a BoxyCharm unboxing for February or March so if you guys would like to see then please keep watching also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you do alright let's get started guys if this is your first time watching a BoxyCharm unboxing or unbagging with me I like to briefly go over the items I received and then I like to do a try on at the end if you don't know BoxyCharm is. BoxyCharm is a monthly subscription, starts at $21 a month, but you always get four to five full-sized products and it's always a variation. You can't really pick and choose. So let's get started. So for each individual box, it always comes with this little card with a theme on the front. And for the month of February, it is Galaxy Glow. And on the other side of the same card, it always shows the products that it comes with and the prices. So the first thing I received for the month of February is this Crown Pro Trio brush set. The big fluffy brush looks like it can be like a highlighting or kind of just sweeping under, setting the powder under your eye. This looks like it can also be good to set powder and kind of to contour or bronze, not bronze, but contour and or a blush. And then this one, it looks like the smallest one looks like it's like a packing on or a shading brush. The next thing in my box is this Pure Complexion X Fox Lips Plumping Lip Exfoliator. Ooh, retails for $17. Pretty neat. Um, I did already kind of give this a try and honestly, I really like it. So it's kind of like a lip scrub exfoliator. If you have really dry lips like me, you will really like this. There's the little lip scrubs in it. So I will be trying this on in a bit for you guys if you are curious. The next item I received in the box is the CoverFX Shimmer Veil, retails for $28. I believe this is one of their new liquid um, eyeshadows, lips, um, it's, it can be used, for, it's supposed to be used for like a variety of reasons. This is in the shade Amethyst, it's like a duochrome, pink, purple, it's really really pretty, I'm really excited, can't wait to use this. I believe CoverFX, they have one of the best. Um, liquid eyeshadows like the glitter ones i love them if you haven't tried them i highly recommend them the next item in the box is this vintage cosmetics smoky eye pencil and retails for 21 dollars the last item that i received in the box which i'm really excited to try i know i'm not really into color highlights but i received this naked cosmetics highlighting palette i hope i'm not blinding you guys here here is the inside. So there's six pans with some fun colors, some pinks, purples, greens, and yellows on the bottom. Pretty, pretty nice. I can't wait to try that. And that was it for the month of February. So for the month of March, this month's theme is vacation. Yes, great time. I think everyone's looking towards their vacation times, especially now that it's going to be getting warmer pretty soon. So the first thing I see here is the South Main I3 Gel Packs. Really, really neat. I don't really use this, but I'm definitely going to give it a try. The next item I received in this month's BoxyCharm is the Vintage Cosmetic Company's Smoky Eye Makeup Brush Set. Retails for $23. It comes with like an uh, angled brush and a shader and a very detailed flat very good for smudging out the next thing in this month's boxy charm is the butter london double decker lashes mascara this retails for twenty dollars the next item in this month's boxy charm is pretty vulgar's make them blush this is in the shade hush blush and I believe you can find Pretty Vulgar, which is a high-end brand at Sephora. This typically retails for $26, so that's pretty neat. I really like this shade. And the last thing in this month's box is the BoxyCharm with Pure Cosmetics. Looks like it's a collaboration. Eyeshadow palette retails for $36. It's really, really cute. It has some like um, heart embroidered, oops. Sorry guys. So here is the palette. And here are some really, really fun colors. Some pinks, purples, some nice warm orangey and pinky tones in here. So I can't wait to put that to use. 
Alright guys, so that was all of the items I got for the month of February and March. And now I'm going to move on to the try-on. The first thing that I really want to try is this South Mean 3 Gel Packs. It's supposed to reduce puffness, reduce dark circles, and moisturizes the eye area. Now I don't really like these gels because they tend to not like to stay in place. And then for the month of February, I'm going to use this Pure Lip Plumbing. This Lip Plumping Lip Exfoliator. I really, really like this. Um, I'm, I've am i never ever tried anything like this and usually I use the liquids that come in a squeezy tube. So I'm just going to go ahead put on like a lipstick. Because I'm leaving these under eye creams, creams, gels on for 30 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and start with my eyes. I'm going to start with my eyes with some... Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer in Original. I'm gonna use the Crown Brush. I'm not sure, this one doesn't have a number, but the, the Trio Set from the month of February. All right, then I'm gonna go in with the Pure Cosmetics and BoxyCharm Collab Palette. And I'm gonna go in with the shade Perfect, which is the creamy beige shade right over here and I'm gonna set that all over my eyelid with the same brush but then I'm gonna use the other side that's clean and then I'm gonna move on to the three vintage cosmetics trio set that I received from the month of March and I'm gonna start off with let's start off with the angled brush I'm not exactly sure what kind of look I'm going for today but I definitely want to get into these shadows I think I'm going to start off with the shade Bell, which is, it looks like a little pinky, peach, orangey shade. Looks like a matte shade. Ooh, this brush is actually pretty good. I really like it. It's, an, it's soft. It looks very deceiving. Alright, then I'm going to go in and pick up this very vibrant um, violet shade called BFF right here at the bottom. And I'm going to pick up the vintage... But I'm going to go for the shader, like, flat brush. I'm just going to pick up the dark purple BFF shade. And I'm just going to pack it on right there. And go back into Belle. That corally shade and just gonna mix it, blend it somewhere. And I'm just gonna bring it a little bit higher. I'm gonna pick up Boxy Black, which is the black shade in the palette. I'm gonna go in with the last vintage shader brush with that matte Boxy Black shade and I'm just gonna go ahead and put it really close to my eyelid. Okay, ooh. Even though I don't like or can care for the glitter or shimmer, I will say that it is very pigmented. I'm going to go ahead and pick up Charmer, which is this bronzy shade. It's a shimmer shade. Really, really pretty. And I'm going to pick up my Luxie eye shading brush. And I'm just going to place that right on the inner corner. Okay, and it's not really doing anything for me. I see specks of shimmer. Let me try to spray my brush after picking up the eyeshadow. See if that helps. Okay, let me see. I'm going to pick up the shade Charmer. I'm using my MAC Prep and Prime. Fix Plus in a lavender, and let's see. Okay, it definitely helped, but I really, I still don't like what this eyeshadow is doing. It's like very, very dry, and it's just picking up the glitter. Nope. Okay, I'm gonna move on, and I'm gonna try Bay, the shimmer pink in the palette. Let me see if that is any better. I'm picking up on the other side so it's dry. See if that does anything. I 
first picking up Charmer and then Bay, and then I'm going to spray it and then see if that's better. Yeah, it's so much better if I sprayed it first. Yeah. All right, so I can't finish the bottom until I do the rest of my face, but so far, um, I do like the mattes in here. I do not like the shimmers, if they're supposed to be shimmers or are they supposed to be somewhere in the middle, like metallics, but um, I definitely like the top, the top shadows, which are the mattes. And I tried these two shades, which I really do like. They're very pigmented. I don't really like the middles as if, as I told you, I tried these two shades and they're not really picking up unless I use my MAC Fix Plus. All right, so I'm gonna go in and use the Butter London Double Decker Mascara. I do actually already have some mascara on, but let me just see if it makes a difference. It was fine. It's kind of hard to tell because I already had some mascara on from today. I didn't really think I was going to be doing a video, but it's fine. It was still able to lay on top of that. I'm going to go in with the Vintage by Jessica Libeskid. Skid is the smoky eye pencil from the month of February and I'm gonna kind of just go over the black eyeshadow it's very black it's very pigmented which is really good and it glides on really easy the only thing with these pencil eyeliners I don't like you have to buy a sharpener all right let's see how much time I have left Ooh. You know what? I totally forgot. I want to use this Cover FX Shimmer Veil. So this is in the shade Amethyst. I'm just going to place that right on, on the inner corner. Let's see. And I think it would be best to use a brush to kind of smear it out. So I'm going in with my Luxie 211 concealer brush. I'm going to just kind of spread it around. All right. So I do really like it. Um, it's very pigmented. It does dry down really quick. I will say you can't really get a fine line. So a brush definitely does help with the Shimmerville eyeshadow. Um, I think you can also use it as like highlighter if you want or like a lip topper. So maybe I'll try that, but it's like a duochrome. I can see it's like reflecting purple and then blue. It's really, really pretty. And as you can see, it's really, really reflective on my eyes. All right, guys, I have about two to three minutes left on my eye gels. I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna do my foundation and then I'll come back to finish the rest of my makeup, all right? All right, guys, I'm back. I finished my foundation, concealer, I set that, and bronze, and put on contour. So now I'm gonna go in with the Pretty, pretty, pretty Vulgar blush called Hush Blush. And I'm going to use, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use this crown brush. I know it's a little bit tiny for a blush, but I'm just gonna go ahead and try it. This is a really, really pretty shade. I really, really like it. It has like a, like kind of like a deepened, like corally shade. I think it's perfect. It's very neutral, perfect for every day. Yeah, I don't think this brush is gonna cut it, but let's see, yeah. Nope, not good for brush, brush for blush. Need something a little bit bigger, fluffier. All right. I think it's really pretty. It's a very, very nice everyday kind of safe blush color that you can add on to practically any look. And especially with such a bold eye look today, I'm really, really feeling mermaid vibes. Um, I think this is like the perfect like blush shade. 
All right, and then I believe the last thing that I received from BoxyCharm that I'm gonna be using is this Naked Cosmetics highlighting palette. It's really, really, like I said, <laughs> colorful, very rainbowy, and unicorn and mermaid. So I guess it's perfect for the eye look. Had some purples, some pinks, some yellow, some greens, and I'm gonna use the big, bigger, fluffy brush from Crown, that trio set, and I'm gonna pick up the middle purple and this the pink shade and i'm gonna just put it right on there oh yeah very very mermaid and unicorn very festival as well i don't know if you guys can see that very very pretty so i'm like i said i'm mixing the purple and the pink I also need to go back and finish my under eye as well for the eyeshadows. But so far, I really do like this Naked Cosmetics highlighting palette. This is called the Holographic Highlighter Collection. It's really pretty, very pigmented. If you like color highlights, then I think you will like this. Me, personally, I do not wear this every day, so it's not something that I would um, naturally gravitate towards. But if you are looking for it, I think this is actually really good. So I'm back. I'm going back to the Boxy Charm Pure Cosmetics um, eyeshadow palette, and I'm gonna just finish my under eye. I'm gonna go in and use the vintage, like the flat shader brush, and I'm gonna pick up the BFF shadow. Can I just smudge it out there? And I'm actually going to go back into the highlighting palette and I'm going to pick up this it's like yes a yellow highlighter right here and I'm just going to put some right in the inner corners of my eye just to pop right there All right, so because I have such a bold eye look already, I'm gonna go for something a little bit more natural on the lips. Wow, what a surprise, right? I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop I Love Sahari um, 951. This was a collaboration. I'm gonna just finish the rest of my face off with some Max Fix Plus. This is in the rose scent. All right, so that is the finished look from using all of my February and March boxy charm. I hope you guys really enjoyed watching this video, and thank you again so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.